Hi everyone, welcome. Hi guys. Hi Sahara and Loretta, welcome. Hello everybody. Welcome to week two of our Laura Rafferty Colour Along. Colouring Seacorn Sorceress today. Hi Dawn, welcome. I had uh, just before I went live, I broke my nail, so I was over there trying to. Hi, Shirley, welcome. I was over trying to uh, just uh, knock it down a little bit so that I wouldn't get it caught on anything today. Hi, Kimberly, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I've got a few updates. So on Monday, I started a couple of images from Mystic Mirrors, Mystic Art Mirrors, new uh, Zodiac coloring book. So I just wanted to show you the finished ones in case you're not on the social media. That was Taurus. And uh, this one here was Pisces. I did need to use some pan pastel, just uh, some palette pastels. I, no, pan pastels I think I used. Just to... Uh, neaten up the face a little bit because we have a few blotching sections but mainly all done with marker hi Helen welcome welcome Wendy Kimberly Cheryl hi welcome so I finished those off uh, new patreon series is on its way I just posted up the marker version of this little puppy and uh, I've got the pencil version I've only done half of the pencil version as you can imagine it took forever and I've also done one of my own. So these are going to be available. These two will be available on Patreon. Uh, the link for my Patreon is in the top corner. If it's not there, try refreshing because I just added them late. So, um, But yeah, really excited about these ones. They're very cute. Uh, next, I'll be working on a cat series. So that will be fun. Uh, so in, in, in uh, preparation for colouring cats... I'm also doing a special event for Leslie Smitheringale. I hope I say that right. Um, I'll just show you guys the image. So let me just grab it. There we go. So I'm going to be coloring up the Leopard Queen from her new Wild by Nature coloring book on Monday. So make sure you pop back on Monday and check that out. Also, Leslie's giving that image away for free to download for free i think it will be for like 24 hours or something like that so you'll need to grab it once i go live so uh, that's pretty exciting too so lots of stuff coming <laughs> hi barbara welcome <laughs> hi beth ann welcome hi mrs crochet welcome 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 so that's monday so today we are working on this beauty obviously let's get back to our main screen there <laughs> and um also after next week um i'm going to be doing a little bit of a collab with sean from canvas and color uh, and i'll be showing these two naughty books uh grim fairy tales so that will possibly be tuesday night next week and possibly the following monday the 23rd so a few weeks away but I'm going to be doing flip throughs of those and coloring an image and I'm yet to just to fit, find out if I'm able to give an image away in that um, so we'll find out all good it's coming <laughs> soon to be lots coming lots coming hi Holly welcome Which one? The the exclusive? This one? I've never seen it before. I'm thinking it's the same as volume two, but it's got more in it. But this particular image on the front cover isn't in the book, which is really strange. But anyway, they sent it to me, so I am not complaining. And there's a few really awesome images in here, so but as I said, very naughty. <laughs> Hi Diane. Hi Elaine. Welcome guys. Come in. 
come in. I didn't get to do a flip through of this last week, so I thought maybe we'd do a quick flip through of this today. Today we're also going to be using a little bit of acrylic paint uh, for my background, but I just wanted to say now uh, before I started, uh, these are just cheap acrylics, like seriously cheap acrylics um, from our local spotlight here. Um, and they're completely matte, so uh, you can draw on top of them, which is really cool. Um, and that's the colours there I've got there. I was going to do just dark blue and white, but um, I think it might be a little bit too dark, so I might end up going with light blue yet. But we'll be using that today, and I've got a little paintbrush that I'm going to be using. We've got a few colours to use. Uh, I'm going to be using the same colours we used in her eyes uh, last week, which was light red violet. Prussian, blue, Prussian, Prussian, whatever. <laughs> a little bit of light phthalo green. And then we've got some pinks for the hair. Pink hair! I'm on the TV again. Hi! <laughs> Abby, welcome. Nick and Tina, welcome. Yeah, yeah, Loretta. So, um, as I said, they, they sent it to me, so I'll show it. <laughs> I'll show it. <laughs> um, I really quite like those that kind of style, um, even though a lot of them are really quite provocative and um, wearing not very many clothes. Uh, I still like the style. <laughs> Ooh, two bathroom renovations. That sounds a bit... Uh... <laughs> you call it overachievement there <laughs> we did a bathroom quite some years ago and it took almost a year to finish but um we had this tiny little bath and uh, we managed to get a bigger bath off a friend who used to work for um, a plumbing place so but it took a year for us to finish it <laughs> oh you too helen are you you're staying with abby aren't you Nick and Tina, I saw you doing some sort of collab with Sky. That sounds cool. <laughs> sounds like fun. So who here hasn't actually seen Laura's book yet? She does have other versions. Um, I'm not sure actually if, are, if, if Laura pops in, we'll ask her. Um, but she does have a couple of other books, so unbound books. So she's got one with tanto paper, I think it is, and one is um, watercolour paper. But um, I think they were by pre-order only. I'm not sure um, if they're available yet. So Laura, if you do pop in or if you're here, tell me, tell me please. <laughs> so the image today is from Laura's Etsy shop but if you have a look in the description below this video there is a link to be able to get them for free so till the end of the month so if you want to check that out also if you want to check out the playlist you want to save the playlist so when I add the videos to the playlist that's also in the comments here now I'm just posting them up well, we had a nasty storm here, actually, not yesterday, the night before. Really bad. Lots of rain and lots of thunder. We don't usually have thunder and lightning at this time of the year because it's like winter. So um, normally we just get a lot of rain. Turns out we get thunder and lightning as well now. <laughs> it was massive. Uh, took up our whole state. <laughs> so let's have a flip through of this book, eh? Hey, hey, hey! All right. So it's quite thick, and you can see I've opened it quite a few times. It's already losing its, you know, bits. <laughs> Laura signed this one for me. Uh, this is available on her website, where you can actually get the free images for the color along, and also the bonus image. So uh, make sure you check out our website while you're there downloading those. Hi Amanda, welcome. It is Cheryl. It was great for her to add that in. Oh, 
screen's going blue and weird colored there. Sorry about that. Now I have done a actual flip through and I've actually colored an image that was from the book on Tantone paper. Hey Nick and Tina again. I did mention you before. <laughs> I asked about your collab with Sky. Is that you guys? Oh, oops, bumped the camera. Sorry. Uh, this is the one I colored in Tantone. Uh, some of these images are available to purchase as individual images on her Etsy store as well. <laughs> That's okay. Oh yes, Helen, make sure that you're well rested before making that drive. Oh, again, the camera's just that little bit too low. <laughs> this is cutie. Laura's actually coloured this one herself and it's absolutely stunning. I love it. It's one of my favourites actually. Hi Wendy, welcome. Well, it's uh, 9.40am here on a Monday morning in Australia. Monday. No, sorry, my bad. Friday morning. Gosh, I've skipped a whole weekend. <laughs> We're three days ahead of you. No, sorry, Monday's next. Monday is when I'm streaming next. Um, it's sorry, Friday morning here to confuse you all. <laughs> A streamathon. Ah, so who's streaming in that streamathon? I like streamathons. I missed the last Harry Potter one. I had a really big weekend at school holidays here, so um, that actually finishes today's the last weekend, or this weekend is the last weekend of the holiday, so they're all back at school on Monday. Hi Dee, welcome. It's Donna, right? Did I get that right? And Barbara. May, hello! I've missed you and your lovely stream. <laughs> My alarm goes off every time you're supposed to stream and I, I just look just in case. <sighs> oh, okay. Cool. And what's your theme? Uh, Nick? I miss you, May. <laughs> We're just doing a quick flip through of the Circle Portraits book at the moment. Woohoo! May, when does school start for you? It is good to see you, Cheryl Lovely. I like this dude. He's kind of cool. <laughs> Might do him one day. I've actually got a couple of wizards sitting there to do that I haven't done. I don't get time. I, uh, I got an email from uh, the lovely Elena Lazareva this week and had a chat about one of her new books that's just come out the Victorian coloring book I'm like she's like can I send you one I'm like sure I can do that oh, I'm so busy <laughs> but I did it I managed to do an image so I'll be doing that as a speed coloring and a flip through shortly probably next week it is a beautiful book Holly I've actually only done one image in it now I need to do a few more. I did a few testers in it too at the back, so we'll get to that. Oh, Cheryl, it's okay. When you're ready.
I did a tester at the back with a whole heap of different uh, mediums, so we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Are you guys that far behind? I that's really weird. There's a really big lag today. Oh, okay, Nick. So uh, Christmas. Them are just portraits or it's just called circle portraits so some of them are just portraits some of them are mythical uh, it's a mixture of everything there's a little bit of steampunk in here um, so it's not one particular topic it's a bit of a mix there's a lot of water-based things in here but it's not solely that there's some steampunk there's some the one we're doing today. Oh, look, that means I will have coloured two from the book. <laughs> it is very thick. Um, when I get to the back, I'll show you the um, the tester page that I did. Uh, I'll show you Barbara at the end when I get to the end. Yeah, friends, and that's right. She had uh, a few friends uh, model for it, so. I guess if you're lucky enough to be a friend of Laura. Uh, yeah, she's done Cindy Fink. That's right, she has. Um, and that's the one that's actually for free at the moment, the bonus image. So make sure you check out the link in the description because um, you can grab the one we're doing for the colour along and also the hawk one as well with Cindy in it. I guess if you're lucky enough to be drawn by her, you could pick what you wanted with it. Couldn't you? You'd say, well, I'm a cat person, so I want to be drawn with a cat. <laughs> oh, dear. It's an old couple. Little frog, May, look. Did you have you got this one, May? And this is Laura herself. How is that? She's done a self portrait. I love this <laughs> little dragon and a little flying bunny. Got mushy ears, too. What else is in here? A little fairy up the top, and pencils, of course. Pens. Oh, look, it's a Signo Uni Ball. <laughs> Copic. Very pretty. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the tester page that I did so I did a couple of different things I did some Pablo, some Polychromos I don't even know what that was probably Prismacolor ink tents and uh, just looking at the back here um, I did some marker, water based marker here a little bit more Prismacolor and also did some Copic down the bottom here and the Copic did go through so it did go through but it wasn't too bad and uh, there's no images on the backs of the pages so they're all single sided uh, so making sure you put something underneath it of course and I also gave pan pastels a go as well and they went on pretty well just here so there's a little bit of a tooth you can sort of see that in the you might not be able to because it's kind of smooth isn't it but there's a little bit of a tooth so you can see that on the um, Prismacolor there it did kind of there was a little wrinkle from the ink tents, but it's completely flat since the book has been closed. So I think you could get away with using water-based as well. Yeah, so you can have a look. She did a no study on in her group, actually, as a free tutorial, which was kind of cool. She did different colored noses. Um, but yeah, that's her beautiful book. Circle portraits. 
Uh, no, it's not on Amazon. Oh, actually, no, she did say it was on Amazon, didn't she? Um, I'm not sure. I can have a quick peek for you. Let me have a look. I think she said her books, some of her books are on Amazon. She's got a couple, I think. So let me just look her up and I'll let you know. <laughs> um, it is. There you go. You have seen it. You looked yesterday. <laughs> Too quick. Let's have a look. Laura Rafferty. Amazon. Circle Portraits, American, uh, US, twenty nine ninety nine ninety five. Sorry, no, ninety nine. I was right. Here's a link. And she's also got Bluebell Woods, which is also available as a PDF version on her Etsy page. But there is a link. Ah, no, there's not because it won't let me do it. There is a link here for that book as well on Amazon. It really doesn't want me to copy this one today. Here we go. <laughs> so the first one is Circle Portraits. The second one is her Bluebell, um, Bluebell Woods. So that's both of those. And I'm just going to copy those for next week because I know someone's going to ask me next week and um, I'll have to come back in. So let me just copy them to my little file here. And um, I'll have them for everyone for next week as well. So to get the um, artist versions, you do need to get them from her website. So just to let you know that. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, just cracked my chair then. All right. So last week I said that we would do the shoulder this week because I wanted to add some color into it. So let me just zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, hello. Now I do believe that um, my the one that came up scan came up really pale um, because there's no other color on the page it seems to make everything really bright so uh, once i start to add coloring the face color will get a little bit darker in my images so uh, just to let you know that as well but if <laughs> if it was really that pale i think i would have just gone back in with my darker colors and darkened it up a little bit more hi becky welcome Hi, Lily, welcome. Skies. So, um, Becky, I keep missing you, doll. <laughs> um, I go to watch streams and I miss everybody. Anyway, it's all good. <laughs> going to start with the blue. Uh, no, actually, we're not. We're going to start with light red violet. Why not? Because, you know, I thought it was Monday and all. <laughs> Um, and what I'm going to do is down here on these little sort of, I don't know what they are. They look a little bit like scales. We'll call them scales. I'm just going to go in over the top of these darker areas that have already been marked out and sort of put a bit of a shadow underneath it as well. So doing medium to light pressure so I can blend my next color in as well. Just coming around them. And also on the shadow area of it as well. I just print them, Holly, when I'm ready to colour them. Otherwise, I feel like I've wasted my paper. So um, I've got them all in artist names. And then in under each artist name, I have them in books. So in folders in books. And then when I'm ready, I just go in and flick through them all and see what's there. I can start from A to Z if I want, or I can start with the particular style that I'm after. Okay. 
I have so many images printed that I've had every intention of colouring and they're still sitting in a folder. So those I could probably put <laughs> into their own little artist files maybe. I'm just going to lighten the light off a little bit there. Oop. Oh no! <laughs> Poor Poppy! Now let's do a little bit of the blue. I've got Prussian. Is it Prussian? I'll wait for someone to say yes or no. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone says it different. Just coming over the top of that a little bit and just coming out further. Really light pressure for now. I have a whole three terabyte hard drive for my images. Prussian. Prussian. <laughs> Prussian. I don't know, everyone says it different, that's what I just said. <laughs> just coming over the top and I'm leaving the very top of that scale, calling it a scale, aren't we? Hi Hilary, welcome. You know I'll still say it wrong no matter what you tell me. I still say Anna Storero wrong. <laughs> I'll forget. I've been calling Mia Maya. <laughs> that's okay we've just started so I only just started coloring I used the light red violet for the bottom section and then we used Prussian blue bad English that's right that's right, Becky. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. It's my own dictionary. And uh, now I'm using the light phthalo green. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, there's, at the start today, I just did a bit of a um, catch up on what I've been up to and what's coming soon. Which you guys would have seen on Patreon anyway. And um, we did a flip through of her book. So using the uh, cinnamon, which is in an extender, just going to go around underneath. I need to sharpen it. <laughs> it's too flat, completely flat. Oh, it's getting really tiny. Look at that. Froggy's going to eat him up soon. <laughs> going to go bye bye. Oh, that's better. So, some cinnamon. I'm actually going to go in with uh, a few layers in those shadow areas. Oh, of course, I don't want to smudge or draw on that, so just used a brush. Pretty mermaid brush makes me happy. 
Hey, these are similar colours. <laughs> Which image? The doggy ones? Elaine, I'm doing them for Patreon. So I've done a marker one that was posted up yesterday. Um, I've done the same dog in polychromos. And then I did my own dog with a uh, black polychromos pencil only. White gel pen. I tried to use white, but it just didn't work. So I ended up just using black. A black dog and uh, I'll be posting up a line image of that for patrons so you can follow it if you'd like to give it a try as well all right that was uh, cinnamon going with light flesh filling in the rest of the shoulder And then I think we need to come back over those colours and just deepen them up a little bit. Okay. Thanks, Abby. So there's an Amazon Prime Day, is there? I think I saw that come up on my thing, but I'm not I'm not a member. I did, I did just sign up for a free month of Netflix again because they sent me an email saying, do you want another free month? Sure, I can watch Stranger Things now. So uh, I started watching season two because I'd only seen season one um, last night. So I'm pretty much through, oh, over halfway through season one, which is kind of cool. I'm um, just going to go back in with cinnamon again just to darken that up again. Going with some more red violet, light red violet that is. Just darken up the purple. Prussian blue. Rocket man, I haven't seen that. couple of things there that I've got to see um I want to see the queen one what was that one called queen. I can't remember what it was called I can't remember what the actual title was called but I want to see that one I love queen remember sitting in the back of my dad's Four wheel drive. We had to drive a fair bit when I was younger because my mum lived two hours away from my dad, so we did a lot of traveling. And uh, I remember sitting in the back of the car singing Bohemian Rhapsody with my stepsisters. We had the album cover and we would we all do different parts of it, it was kind of fun, but I know the words off by heart. What else can you do in the back of the car but sing, hey? This is the light phthalo green. Oh, look at her. She's got some nice, pretty, spiky shoulders. I think last time I used the um, 
Caran d'ache white I'm just going to use a little bit of the Prismacolor white and just blend that in making sure the tooth is flattened smooth it off a little bit Oh, it's, what's the name of the <laughs> thanks Becky I'm lost now what oh Wendy no it wasn't are you talking to me about the dog that wasn't my new baby no but I will do one of her <laughs> oh it is Bohemian Rhapsody ah my favorite song I'm just using the cinnamon and I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more shadow on this face here. That's the one thing that I love about uh, Polly's is that you can just keep layering. Well, you can on this paper. I find um, I can get a pretty good layer or layers down. And if I have areas I need to darken, which I'm just doing now. find that you can just a couple of areas I felt could use a little bit more depth not much Just on the very edge of a shoulder here where we've colored I'm just going to go around that again just making sure that's nice and dark there as well oh, my phone keeps going off here it's very distracting <laughs> there we go you know I didn't get to see my baby this week I was going to go visit her but um it was a lovely Joanne's birthday and I didn't want to impose on that so I'll probably see her on Sunday I'm hoping her eyes are open too because, um, do you know what that is? That's eBay. eBay telling me to end a message from a friend I haven't seen in a very long time. Oh, okay, no worries, May. Thanks so much for dropping in. I can't wait to come and see some of your streams. And, oh, oh we want to do another Tuesday night too soon with, with um, Sammy. It's been a while since we caught up. <laughs> so uh, we'll do that. All right, so we're going to start with hair today. Night May. Um, I've got a couple of pinks for the hair and some green. Interesting. All right. I'm just going to show up in this one a little bit. I'm going to start with Madder. <laughs> Wifey says Becky. That's cute. <laughs> oh, I watched that. Speaking of mini documentaries, there was a killing Michael Jackson documentary thing that was interesting I sure I am Elaine I am I am I am okay I've got Maddo and we're going to start in the hair let's start up the top here it is smooth yes but it does have a slight tooth it's actually soft is how I would explain it it's got a tooth but the tooth can be flattened really easily so it's really um, spongy I think that's why I like it for both Cop Copic and pencil and um, I've used acrylic on it as well and it's fine the only things that you've got to be really careful of on Nina is water-based products because the paper peels really easy and that's probably because it is soft and spongy so if you're using water-based products on this you have to be really sparing we we'll use it sparingly. Just going to shade in the shadow areas first. 
I actually want to make the hair quite bright and vibrant because the background is going to be blue and it's quite bright blue. So, um, yeah, it's good when you meet people like that. <laughs> my one of my good friends, Jackie. She um, we met at nail school. <laughs> Both nail technicians. I met her, she was just starting hers and I was finishing mine. So uh, we did a couple of classes that crossed over. That's how we met. And we both had the same bag. And uh, then when we started chatting, it turns out, you know, same favourite colour. We both had the same bag in different colours. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. And yeah, we, we talked like we'd known each other for years. I think you come across a couple of those in your lifetime. Alright, so I've just gone around the shadow areas and I've just flicked out over the top of those grey lines. We want to try and cover up as much of the grey as we can. Um, and I like to cover over the black lines of things too, so... Her hair has just created this lovely circle. What, what, Holly? What's wow? Because <laughs> you guys are so far behind, I don't know what you're commenting to. just flicking out I know <laughs> it's amazing isn't it <laughs> yeah I think we're coming up to like I don't know 10 years or something soon actually All right, so I just went back over that and made sure I'd filled in some of that. We want to, uh, just down the bottom here, I just sort of flicked back up towards the top. So we're creating a little bit of a highlight area in the middle. Just making sure I go around this little... I just went inside him. We don't want to do that. <laughs> just erase that out. Creating a little bit of a shadow behind him if I can. So I'm just using firmer pressure to do that. A nice sharp line there, and then we can extend on that by flicking out. So, from these ones, I'm going to flick down. I'm just going to make that a bit of a bridge and then come down from there. We need to make a couple of bridges in this hair because it's really long, and we want to try and keep that really nice. Hi Kelly, welcome. We want to... Hi Rochelle, welcome. Did I get you before? I think I've just seen you there. Ah, oh, thank you. We're going to do the seahorse similar to her little scales here. So he'll have some similar colours in him. Um, but because her hair is so long and these are long strands, we're going to need to do a couple of bridges in between so that it's a little bit easier to do the hair. So to do that, I'm going to create some flicks. So because there was already flicks here on the side, I'm going to continue on with that flicking up. We also need to go through those bubbles too, but uh, we'll get to that. They're just going to be a little bit lighter. So I've just flicked up, and then we want to flick back down. So we've created a little bit of a, a dark patch there now. A bridge. We're going to try to keep that bridge and build it across this way as well. 
So kind of coming down on a bit of an angle further around this circle here. Flicking down and then flicking up. So we've got our little gap here. I'm going to create another gap here now because we're coming up from the bottom here. Flicking up towards there. So we've got some like easy patches now to fill in and get some nice shine on there. And also add some green and maybe even a little bit of blue. There we go. It is awesome, Elaine. Oh, that's so nice. Hi, Morticia. Welcome. Some of you guys I haven't seen for a little bit. Is it because it's summer there? You're all busy out surfing and enjoying the sunshine, gardening and whatever else. <laughs> this is going to fill in a little bit more here once we start to add in some more colour too. So don't stress too much about that. Okay, I'm just going to stop there and I'm just going to fill in this little bit of hair so we can see what we're actually going to achieve when we're done. Ooh, holidays is good. Hi Cassandra, welcome. I've got fuchsia. I've created a little bit of a dark patch there and I just want to get rid of some of that. I think it's too dark. So I'm just using my mono eraser. Just going to get rid of that. Looks a little strange. There we go. Mono eraser is one of my best friends. <laughs> he instantly hit it off. We did. <laughs> All right, just flicking down from the top. So this time I'm extending a little bit further down and around. Following over any of those other gray lines that were sort of in the middle there. my brush smudging things out there oh no my Tisha it's no good so I'm just doing this little section at the top here as well Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, you've been locked in, have you? I'll go let her out in two secs. Noisy little girl. <laughs> All right, and then I've got a little bit of the pink matter lake, which we used in her uh, lips, I think we used it. Day. Yep, I <laughs> I know that feeling. I have my 40th. What am I now? 41, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> I forget. I forget. I really do. Flicking down and then flicking back up again. And making 
making sure I get this bit up here too. I'm kind of flicking up into the darker area as well. So I'm sort of filling in the tooth a little bit. But trying to keep a few gaps through there. So I don't get that one lump area like I have here. But um, we can actually fix areas like this if they look a little bit too full. We can put in some white gel pen and do some streaks through there as well. So now I've done that, I want to add a little bit of our green through there. I think I might also add a tiny little bit of blue too. So we'll start with the Prussian blue. Hi Gail, welcome. So just coming around the very outside edge first flicking this around and just going to put a couple of streaks through the darker area just like that not too much I don't want to overpower it I just want to add it in okay you might not be able to see it there but I can see it clearly here now the green I'm going to try to concentrate in the middle section of the hair where the highlight is I love pink and green together. A bit up the top here. All right, I'll come and let you out. Let me just let Shadow out. You haven't, you're asleep, silly. Well, come on then. Come say hello. Yes, yeah, say hello. No, don't. Say hello doesn't mean hit the camera. No, sit. Say hello, everybody. You're a good girl. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You can berserk. Somebody just woke up, so she's a little bit sooky. Yeah, are you finished? No, you can't have my stuff. She's chasing things. My brushes and stuff like that. All right, come on. Are you done? I didn't need your backside in my face. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. No, sit. I'm not patting you. Sit. <laughs> sit, boo-boo, sit. Uh-oh. It's just... The kids, the kids are up, darling. <laughs> She's like, who's up? What's happening? Yeah, 9.30 Friday morning, uh, sorry, 10.30 Friday morning here, and uh, kids are on holidays, so they're just getting up and moving around. Some green. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. What are you doing? You can't have my pencils. You can kiss it. Okay, you can kiss my pencil. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> she's being funny. I love it when she's like that, but it's it is quite annoying when I'm busy, my dear. Come on, sit down. Just got that blue again, just adding a couple more flakes. All right, when Shadow gets out of the light, <laughs> let's repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> what are you looking for, Hillary? I missed that. <laughs> Where is your change place to my classic crest? Oh, you can't. <laughs> I did get some on Craft Online and also Scrapbook Boutique had some at one stage, but they've sold out. I ended up getting mine from America and um, I have considered importing it in and selling it myself because I do love it that much. But I don't have the money to invest in that. <laughs> it's quite a bit of money 
to get a bit of stock so because you had to pay for shipping and you can't chase what there's nothing on there she's seeing shadows I think <laughs> that's appropriate um, but I brought my first lot on uh, craft online craft I think it's craft online and um, I brought another lot from scrapbook boutique shadow there's nothing there <laughs> I don't know what you think is there it's my coloring you yeah, know it looks so real doesn't it you're funny And then I ended up buying some from Amazon US and having it shipped out. And the place that I ordered it from, I went on to see if I could order another lot and it's no longer available for shipping here to Australia. So I'm not happy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it's my favourite. Okay, so down here I'm going to do another bridge. So flicking up, and back down. Hi, Becky, welcome. No worries, Lily. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> That's so cute. Like, Nana, don't miss my birthday. Oh. My eldest is turning 20 on the 2nd of August. I can't believe it. And then in uh, November, I'm going to have an 18 year old. So I'll have a 20, 18, and 15. Gosh. Time flies. <laughs> Time flies. Just missed a little bit up here. I'm just going to fill that in with the matter. Get my best friend out. Oh my goodness, Abby. She obviously loves you and make, wants to make sure that you're part of her special day. I hope to be a grandmother like that one day. <laughs> like my Nana was. Most favourite person in the whole world she was. All right, just creating some more shadows around our little seahorse and flicking out from there. Just filling in these a little bit more, so blocking them in a little bit so it looks a little bit more prominent. might actually add a little bit of blue in here that will help to make it a little bit darker too so using the Prussian blue just to add a little bit of depth in there do the same up the top there <laughs> hi 
Mia, welcome. We missed you. We were talking about you earlier and how I mispronounced your name as Maya to start with. <laughs> Let's fill in that one now. So I've got fuchsia coming back over and extending out now down towards the middle and then coming back up the other side. I'm creating pink and green multicolored hair. I'm also come right down into the shadows as well, bringing that up and also bringing it a little bit further towards the middle. Time's up. I can't believe it's already been an hour. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, and we've got Pink Meadow Lake coming from the top and then from the bottom. We've almost filled in that central section now. Following the curve of the hair as well, so we get the shape of the hair. And then we've got our green, light phthalo green. That's a hard word to pronounce or to figure out. It's P-H-T-H. -h. So it's phthalo, phthalo. <laughs> Thanks, girl, but it's phthalo. Phthalo. <laughs> oh, you're getting your hair done. I go every six to seven weeks <laughs> to cover over my greys. <laughs> All right, and a little bit of blue, just a couple of strokes through there. And uh, just coming around the outside with that as well. All right, brushing that away. So here we've got a little bit of bleeding in together. So I'm just going to use my little jelly roll pen. And I'm actually going to just put a few lines through there. So it's not quite so dark. So I've just broken that up a little bit now. It doesn't look quite so bunched up. Also, if you're still wanting to flatten out the tooth a little bit more or there's still a little bit of area there that you want to flatten, you could use a colourless blender or the full colourless full blender is one I use because it's my favourite. It's two best friends so far. <laughs> this is the Caran Dash full blender. cost me $6.25 for two of them. This one I've kept it in the pencil extender since I got it and I haven't broken it once so it's lasted me a very long time. Before when I was using them they were breaking up into little bits and I was buying one of these every couple of weeks because they were driving me crazy. So I put it in a pencil extender and it doesn't break. And uh, I'm just going to go over those light areas where I can still see tooth coming through and just flatten them out with this. It can make the colour a lot richer too, which is good. Trying to stick in the same direction that the hair is going so you're not crossing or contaminating the colours together. And uh, the great thing about it is once you've used it, you can go over it. So it's not a final layer.
just scratching up any excess that I had sitting there. There we go. She looks kind of messy now, doesn't she? She's got one part of her hair done and not the rest. Hi Sahara, sweetie, welcome. Oh, you could use any. I use the number eight. Well, I have five, actually. But it, no, it's an eight. The lids have been swapped over. <laughs> it doesn't matter, whichever. I could have used a uni bowl as well. You just scratch off. If it's too thick, just scratch off the edges of it. Anyway, <laughs> shall we move on? Oh dear, get out of my way. Oh, Cheryl, no problems. Thanks so much for coming. So we're going to do a giveaway. Yeah. Du, du, du. All right, I'm going to let the giveaway rules roll by you. I'm just going to run off for a second while you do that and grab a drink. And I'll come back and read through them with you. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. So pick one number between one and 100, only one number per person. The first person to call that number owns it. No chatting during number calling until the winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, 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 or after stop, stop, stop will be counted. <sighs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> um, Gail, I think we've got a mixture of the US and Australia, and we had some UK people here as well, but the UK is obviously it's very late there. So the number closest to the drawn number will win without going over. So if I pick 68 is drawn and you have 69, then it's gone over. So it's the closest without going over. Make sure you're on live chat, guys. Any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored, endorsed, or administered by or associated with YouTube, Facebook. Instagram or Laura Rafferty. Okay, back. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. <laughs> Just so much easier than trying to explain it to everybody <laughs> in a chat, especially when there's loads of people here. Whoa, what new name? Whose backyard? What? <laughs> Hi, Joey, welcome. Who's got a new Kelly? Who's backyard? Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> Hi, Shadow. Oh, my dish is from Sweden. Welcome. Oh, Becky's backyard. Oh, now it's Becky. What? I'm lost. <laughs> Hi Shadow, welcome. We're just doing, you can come up if you want. There you go. We're doing a giveaway. So today's giveaway will be for one PDF image from Laura's store. 
So I'll pop the Etsy shop back up. So a single image from her Etsy shop. So I will need you to contact me or I contact you, depending on who, who it is, if I know you or if I don't. Um, and uh, we can organize which image that you would like. So we're going to do a random draw. Everybody ready? So ready. Oh, Becky, okay. That makes sense. Awesome. All right, we are a go. Back to using matter again. This hair is going to take me longer than I always think. <laughs> I think, yep, I'll have plenty of time. I'll be able to do this, this, and this. I probably won't even get the background done today. But that's okay. What we might do is, in the last half hour maybe we'll stop here we'll get this background so that will be dry for next week and then next week we can finish off the hair just kind of curving around these curves here bringing them around and up a bit messy looking but once we add some more in I don't know what was it shadow she's standing at attention you know how they just get their neck gets really skinny oh yay that seemed really quick <laughs> wow we had heaps of people good job peoples all right random.org there we go da -da -da -da. just got it there I've got one and 100 generate the results are in oh we're halfway 50 number 50 all right so who's the closest wasn't yours it was mine <laughs> Oh, you missed it, Meredith. You were after, but that's all right. Gail got exactly fifty, um, and she was a f yeah, <laughs> the only one. So, Gail, way, yay! Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. Welcome, sweetie. Gail, I don't know if I have you on anything. Do I? Do I? <laughs> Gail, Gail, do I have you? on Facebook or anything like that. How about I just give you my email? Should I do that? I don't know my email address. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. No. I gave it to somebody wrong last time I was telling people what it was. All right, it is. What is it doing? I'm trying to see if I could copy and paste it for you. Hmm. It doesn't like me. It is Colour with Faithful Girl 1978. I'm going to type it in. Sorry, guys. I had to move my 
thing every every time I have to move my keyboard out of the way because I just have no room. I need like a drawer. <laughs> I need like a drawer to um to put my keyboard in. Go away. Color with, I have pop-ups coming up on my computer. Color with Faithful Girl 1978 at gmail.com. There we go. Have it. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Gail, darling, please message me within the next 24 hours and I will send your details off to Laura and she will email you. Just closing that. That's annoying me. Here we go. Oh, look. <laughs> it tagged me. So it's color with faithful girl 1978 at gmail.com. Done. And Shadow, you're just going to sit there, are you? <laughs> ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations, Gail. Just one of her single images from her store. Don't forget that you can get this particular image and the Hawk image for free at the moment. So make sure you pop over and grab those. The links for that is in the description below as well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> on, on Facebook, I'm not even sure. I've got so many. Cat hair everywhere. So email me your choice and uh, I can let Laura know. So last week we had uh, Christina one. So that was good. And I sent all that off to Laura. So I'm hoping she's got that already. Let's pop the bridge here for this one. Oh, it just started raining heavily all of a sudden. So flicking out in one direction. Getting rid of some of these dark lines. So covering over those quite firmly. And that's live chat, Abby. That's weird. Because, yeah, it's supposed to be in order of how they come. <laughs> Shadow. Yes, there's somebody there. Can you just get off my work? Thank you. Can you, You're in my light now. Look, no one can see. Because, yeah, it's supposed to be live as they come on live chat. Yes, very weird. Let's do another one here somewhere. Bring back that way. Doesn't have to be exact, guys, so do whatever comes naturally or whatever you feel looks natural. But um, there's already one here, so I figured I'll do it in the same spot. So it's just extending on it. My pencil's getting really blunt and the lines are getting really flat and smooth. So I need to sharpen my pencil so they're nice and straight and firm. And I don't know, sharp looking. Can I have my sharpener please? Give me, where's that? Give me that. Thank you. Look at this little tail here. She flicks it back in as soon as I touch it. It's my tail. <laughs> yeah mine does too uh sahara and also if you're live if you're not actually live too if the little live button's not on i find that it's different 
Yeah, I think my sharpener might be full. <laughs> That's better. Some nice sharp lines. Shadow, really? Get out of our way. I can't wait to get Nani. I got another picture of her the other day. She still hasn't opened her eyes. I'm hoping now she has. I'll have to message her later and see if her eyes are open yet. I see those cute little eyes. I can hear the kettle going. Is that the kettle? If you yell it any louder, will I get one? Maybe. Oh, the rain stopped. It just got quiet here all of a sudden. It was really noisy and I felt like I was talking over the rain and now it's quiet. Oh, you are, Sahara? Oh, Oh, really? Crayola? That's crazy. I paid $30, I think. American, possibly. No, $30 it was. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Mothers and hosts always get them in real time, though. Well, that's good. What is a fuzzy peach donut? Tell me, please. And what is a root beer donut? I didn't... What is root beer? <laughs> Sounds like the postie. Oh no, Sahara, I hope he's okay. If anyone's coming back from the US to Australia at all, tell me and uh, I want some Nina paper. <laughs> It'll make your luggage really heavy though. <laughs> He didn't want to visit us today. He went straight past us. <laughs> Just coming back, I'm going to create a little bit of a bridge here under this bubble. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Hot cup of tea. Ta. Look. Amazing. <laughs> Shadow's like, what have you got? Can I have some? Nope, hot. I don't even know what root beer is. I don't know what root beer is. 
do we have root beer here in Australia? Anyone who's Australian? Am I just being naive? <laughs> do I know what it is? Am I being vague? <laughs> I have no idea. Getting rid of some of those little spots there, it didn't look right. Okay, soda pop. I okay, so here in Australia, we don't call it soda pop, it's called soft drink. You don't know what it is either? No, it's not like Coke. Is it like, um, like, like ginger beer? That's the only thing I can think of that's got that name. Sarsaparilla? Yeah, I know what sarsaparilla is. Sarsaparilla, oh, is that what root beer is? That's so weird, isn't it, that we just have different names for things? We have sarsaparilla and portello. But I've never actually heard of what, I don't know what, I've heard root beer being said, but I don't know actually what it is. Chicken and donuts, that is a random mixture. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Oh no, Sahara, if you need to chat, let me know, that's sad, oh, not being home either would make it harder, alright, we need to move on, we're moving on, I'm using uh, fuchsia now, so I've done all of my sections of hair with, with the, with the madder, 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 coming back over now with fuchsia, There's nothing for you to touch, so don't shadow. Your hedge is... Look up, shadow. Look up here. Shadow, what's this? Look up here. We want to see your face. She's sitting right there. <laughs> On... My paper. Move your head. Move your head. Move your head. Oh, my computer just flashed. Just drinking my cuppa as I go here. Let's <laughs> go back up here. We can't see, Shadow. You're in our way. <laughs> I'm going to visit my mum today and my stepsister and my new niece. She's only a month or so old. Had a few babies born in our family recently. Uh, Seem to be lots of girls. <laughs> so um, I'm the eldest of three. It's me, then my sister, and then my brother. And it's the same in my family. I've got two girls and then a boy. Oops. Went out the edge. 
All right. Girls rule. No worries, Becky. <laughs> She's... <laughs> she... <laughs> Love it, Morticia. I know, she's really watching. Nope. We, can you hear that? We just got a really big downpour. <laughs> That's some heavy rain. I don't like it because it's raining and it's cold. Whoa, my computer keeps glitching and it's freaking me out. So if you lose me, um, I apologize. But, oh wait, I missed a little bit of hair. Look in here. No worries, Lulu. Bye. What's the time? Oh, I've still got half an hour. We might just get the hair finished. Because we're coming in with the last colour now. I actually think that I want to put a little bit of a highlight here. So I'm just going to erase this a little bit. She really is, isn't she? She's watching. We can put some green through there now. Now she's ignoring me because I'm touching her whiskers and she's freaking out. She doesn't like her whiskers being played with. <laughs> She'll move now probably because I'm touching it. You know, it's so funny. Um, yesterday she was sitting on my image while I was colouring Alina Lazareva and... Um, as soon as I got my alcohol markers out, she moved. I love it. It's hilarious. She's like, I'm going to go sit over this side of the desk now. Away from that smelly thing. It's funny because I can't smell them. I don't think they have a very strong smell, but obviously she can. Turning it around. Sorry, Shadow, you're in my way. And you, yes, I've still got the same pencil. Yes. I know, we're crazy humans, aren't we? We do crazy things. You get so confused. <laughs> Rochelle. It's, it's beautiful here. <laughs> Freezing cold. <laughs> We've had some really nice, beautiful days, really beautiful sunshine and actually quite warm, I think, for winter. But yeah, all of a sudden it just phew, hit us two days ago. It's been raining since. A massive storm and it just hasn't stopped. All right, coming back in with green, light phthalo green. Just in those highlight areas. Oh, thanks for giving us some light, madam. We like light. No, no, ah, oh. and she's back.
glitchy. G -g Glitch. Shadow, look at all these whiskers. <laughs> look at these whiskers. Look. look at these whiskers. Do a bit of that uh, Prussian blue. You'll have to remind me again next week what it's called again because I know I'll forget. <laughs> Just coming around the outside edge. And also I've just done a few strokes, can't see it properly. Sorry, a few strokes through there. Through there. Look, we got another glitch happening. I think something's happening with our internet. Good glitch. Oh, it's really bad. You guys aren't getting any feedback or anything, are you? She is really watching. She's really driving me crazy. All right, we're going to use some white. I've got Prismacolor white. And we're just going to soften this area in the middle here. I'm going to still follow the shape of the hair but just flattening off the tooth completely and uh, smudging them in a little bit so they're kind of blurry I think that's all of them this one and then we're going to use the white gel pen I've got I think I'll use the uni bowl one this time because it's a little bit thicker. <laughs> Gail, you're right. Um, I actually have a um, little puppy coming, a new baby coming. Probably by the middle of August we should get her. Just got the colourless blender there and I'm just flattening off the tooth in some of these areas. I can still see a fair bit of tooth and that's probably because my pencil was getting quite uh, blunt there at the end. And this will just help get rid of some of those white fuzzy areas. Get a bit smoother. Red Rooster is texting me. <laughs> talking about chicken red rooster here in Australia is um, just like a chicken and chip shop so chicken and chicken burgers and chips and roast dinners and yummy and uh, I'm a member and they send us little deals probably because it's winter and it's quiet so yeah, oh do you want some chips for lunch hmm we got them for two dollars. It's good. Did you just eat good enough? There's some on your nose. On your paws. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Sahara, that's what's coming. <laughs> that's what we're getting. She's so gorgeous. Did you see the photos? I'll just show you the one that I just got. Um, she sent me this one the other day. You see her? She's in with her mummy and the other puppies are all around her. She gorgeous. <laughs> you right? All right, let's do some painting. You're not going to like this bit. Shadow, you'll have to move. These are acrylic paints, see? They smell... Yeah, yucky. Go on, off you go. They're yucky. They're yucky. I'm not sure. She's going to get into things. I've got my uni bowl pen though, and I'm just going to get it to work. So you guys know the trick, don't you? 
uh, cotton pad, alcohol, rubbing alcohol or colourless blender from Copics and uh, just pop a couple of drops, she won't like this, a couple of drops on there. <laughs> oh, she can smell it. <laughs> she made a face. Look, knock you out. That stuff will knock you out. Get you drunk. And just rub your pen over it. Oh. I'll just do it on my mat so it doesn't leave marks. Oh, come on. Work. And I just sort of rub my pen on it until I start to see some of the ink flowing. She really doesn't want to go. She doesn't even care. I just use alcohol. <laughs> You're so funny. Really get out of it. I'm trying to be a professional here, you're not helping. Just going around the outside of the bubbles and just adding a little bit of a shiny point in each of them. I think we might add another one in here because I don't like this spot here. Just using the white pencil first to flatten off the tooth. Just going to do another one over here. There you go. Good, good um, disguising of areas you don't like. Add bubbles. <laughs> Pen stopped again. Just gonna because the wax builds up in the nib it stops the ink from flowing. You just need to really get that out. There you go, it was like it was meant to be there. Uh, we called her uh, Nani after Lilo and Stitch, you know, Lilo's sister's name is Nani. It's a Y for beautiful. It was kind of Cam's choice because it's his dog. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I'm just going to put a couple of spots on there as well. There we go. You can do that on any areas where you want to cover. I've got 15 minutes. Can I do the rest in 15 minutes? I reckon we could. Alright, I've got... Make sure you've got a space that's... Um, this is called Cyan. This is a cheap paint. cost me $4 for the tube. And it's really runny. See? Runny, runny. You don't like paint. Trust me. I'm also going to use a tiny little bit of this one, which is called Baby Blue. This is how I paint. <laughs> and I don't have white in this brand, but I've got another cheap brand. This, there you go. The smell's getting to her. She's gone. Yeah, there was a couple of good ones there, Loretta. One of them I was already... Um, Ray, is it Rayine? Is that how you say it? Um, I already follow. Um, but the other one was cool. But they're kind of naked. It's really hard for me to do naked. Um, the white is a bit thick and it's old, so it's a bit crusty looking, but it still works. <laughs> mm. Now, if you don't have acrylic paint, you could use anything you want in the background. Hi, Kenny, welcome. So you could use uh, markers, you could use watercolors, you could use pencils, uh, you can use anything that you want. So don't feel like you have to use acrylic paint. Um, if I was going to be using markers, say, I would do a bit of a pattern in blues. Um, so perhaps a, a lighter and a darker blue and do a bit of a pattern around it to give it a bit of texture. Um, watercolour, you could do the same thing. I loved using these 
these two pen these two markers here I've got I don't know what the color names are 5555 and 443 in the Tombows these are awesome uh, let me see if I can find a watercolor piece of paper just get my journal out I was playing with these yesterday actually and I made myself a bit of a galaxy background but, um, these Tombow markers I've got a blue and a like a blue green color and I'm just using a water brush pen popping a bit of water on there going to do something like that. I can't use these brush pens on uh, Nina paper because uh, they rip up, they tear the paper unfortunately. But really rough a mixture of dark and light. Easy peasy and then squeezy. watercolor pencils, ink tents, anything that's got a really nice bright blue and a light blue. I love the Tombos, they're awesome. I actually picked up a couple from the art shop this week. I picked up a dark green and a yellow. Uh, but I did buy a Galaxy pack a while ago. So I had, I think they come, it came in a 10 pack, a Galaxy set. So I did have a few and then I've added to them. So these are the colors I've got now. But I do believe that the Crayola Super Tips do the same thing. So I'm getting them soon. I got an email saying they've been sent or posted. So I should be getting them within the next week. So we can test out the Super Tips too. Um, but yeah, I believe that they do the same thing. So there's Christina. Hi. Yeah, that's right. That, that's right. Um, Mia, I got the Galaxy set and then I've added to it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got twelve plus the blender now, so I picked up a couple. Meow. Meow. Um, they're five dollars fifty each though at our shop. That's a lot in Australian dollars. <laughs> everyone's catching up with newbies so yeah you could use watercolor um, perhaps with markers maybe do I don't know let's do a because we can't we've got no white in these so perhaps a, a, a lighter blue a darker blue and a lighter blue a bit of messy cross hatching maybe This paper is really smudgy, so it bleeds out and softens off anyway. But make it messy looking. Don't make it neat. It's water. Uh, you could use... What else could we use, peoples? Some neo colours. Got neo colours here. Got a couple of blues on the top, actually. So, Oh, I did buy some more gelatos this week, too. Gelatos are, um, I'm having a play with gelatos. Gelatos, some blue, some green. Those are both the same color blues almost. I'm just going to make it all one page with a bit of a mixture of everything. <laughs> you can actually see the scratch marks on there, so I probably should have just done it on my... I brought a board. I brought one of these. Rough on one side and smooth on the other. Um, for my museums and my neo colours, so... Um, 
what else you could use anything any water based marker if you've got the right kind of paper that will work with the water so just keeping in mind I'm using the Nia so uh, I've got a little bit more of a limited choice because it doesn't work as well with those water based things okay so So Gail, um, I've put all of the colour lists, it's all in the description. So it's all on my Patreon as a public post. So if you want to go and check out the, the colours, they're there. Um, I used green because I'm using green sort of all over and I wanted to give put some of that background into that. Oops, I've got my water here. I might need that. This is actually a brush that came with the gelatos. Um, and I've stained it because I already had a practice because I love painting. So I usually use a fair bit of white. That's why I put a big squirt of white in there. But I'm going to use a bit of a mixture. And all I do is... Grab a bit of white and blue. And I just do some crisscrosses because it's matte too we can actually draw over it and we can do some bubbles and things over the top of it but I'm just crisscrossing adding a bit more white in there I'm not actually going to go all the way to the edges because the page I'm going to trim it off so but I will go in to these edge bits and just add colour all the way around. Being really rough. I thought we might try a little bit of mixed media. As I said, this white is a bit old and crusty, so it's a bit gel-like. If I had this same brand, oops, the same brand, um, it might have mixed a little better. But that's okay because I don't mind having those little chunkies of white. I think it looks good. Painterly effect. Oh, really? Helen, I love watercolour. Hi, Jo Beth, welcome. It, um, watercolour is one of my favourites. So when I'm just going into my paint, I probably should move it so you can see me actually dipping into it. I'm just grabbing a little bit of white, a little bit of colour. <laughs> and look at my brush it's so messy and then when I go down it sort of mixes the paint up as we go but I don't want it to look smooth I want it to look rough and choppy 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 And then I get these little surprises, little dark spots and little light areas. Do you like surprises? I like surprises. Oh dear. I didn't really want to ruin my board. It's a new one. Because uh, when I did the background for that one I did last week, I ended up with pink all over my board. But I have found since I've put a white board back that I'm not having as much trouble with the light. So I think it's got something to do with the darker background. That's why it causes so much headaches. I wanted to try and get this done this week so that we can, it'll be dry for next week. And uh, I'll be able to go in and do some details. We'll be able to put some bubbles over the top of it, hopefully. 
I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully. Keep going round. Bit more of that other blue. Bit more white. I think I also put green in to marry it up with the rest of the image too because we've got a bit of everything through the hair and everything through her skin. As you can tell, I go through white more than any other colour. <laughs> no worries, Kenny. A little bit of darker blue there. Gonna need some more white. Remember, well, in my case, I've done it quite thick, so it's gonna take a while for it to dry. You could put a bit of green in here too if you wanted. Aqua. No, got it on the hair. Just disguise it a little bit with a bubble later. <laughs> I'm going to need to get a smaller brush in here, I think. I'm gonna look make it a mess make it a mess mess maker if you're not making a mess you're not having fun <laughs> bit more white I did try to go in the areas directly around her. I've tried to do it a little bit lighter, um, but it really doesn't matter. Doing some crisscross patterns there. And then this last little bit, I might just grab a smaller brush to get into there. Maybe. Yeah. Just give me a sec to grab something a little bit smaller. adding a little bit of darker blue in a few spots I'm so messy make it messy have some fun acrylics are awesome all right yeah I'm just gonna do this little bit here I got a big jar I've got this crappy little one here it's quite a firm brush this one 
but it's a needle bit littler. And now anywhere that we've missed, we can go back in with pencil later and just fill that in because we can draw over the top of it. That's if you've used matte. If you use a gloss, you're going to have trouble drawing over the top of it. If you mix something like matte medium in with a gloss paint, you'll be able to draw on top of it. Uh, but you're going to have a shiny sort of look or a shiny finish. This is Liquitex Matte Medium. If I was to mix this with some gloss paint, I'll, I'll, it'll actually give me a surface that I can actually draw on as well. So, But it still will look gloss. Ah! Stick your fingers. This will flatten out as it dries as well. It's gone a little bit wrinkly. Hi, Melissa! Bye, Melissa! <laughs> um, so, uh, it will flatten out once it dries. Sorry, just lost my train of thought then. Also lost my cloth. Um, I'm going to need a clothes brush to get rid of some of the fur off my mat today. She's a shocker. Uh, what I've got left in my... No, I am not. <laughs> I actually did a course uh, many years ago with a pastor. Um, she runs a thing called Art and Soul. And um, that was the first time I was exposed to acrylic paints. We had to, it was a painting thing for people recovering from depression or with depression. Um, it was a wonderful little course we did, but that's where I got exposed to acrylics. Just using what I've got left in the jar, uh, which is a little bit lighter too, because I've already taken out most of that darker blue. It's already mixed with the white. Looks like we might finish this next week, which means that we can do. We might be able to do one session with the the hawk as well. Maybe one one week. Of course, I just linked on that. I probably should have done the middle first, hey. <laughs> I'm having trouble. I'm going to need a smaller brush again. Just want to add a little bit of that darker blue there. But um, Michelle from Art and Soul, she's doing them around the world now. She's done a few in the US. Um, just been to a few countries now and done it. All right, I'm going to need a little brush, but I'm done. I'll find one. I've got paint by numbers brushes there. I'll probably use one of those. What have I got here? This will do. Just pre wet my brush a bit. And we'll go back in later and we'll add some bubbles. As I said, if you don't have acrylic paint, you could do the same kind of thing with markers or watercolours, watercolour pencils. Just make it look a little bit rougher than give it a bit of texture. Don't make it look completely smooth. Mm, 
Now, I won't be able to take a photo until this is dry, so probably tomorrow I'll give it at least 24 hours to uh, get that thicker paint dry and then I'll scan it and pop it up in the group and on my page and you can see the finished product. Well, the almost finished product, I should say. I think I'm going to need a tiny little bit of white in that. I'll just try a little bit of gesso because I've got it <laughs> and it's easier to pour and it's a little bit thinner so I just paint a little bit of that on Have a play with it, have a go. You'd be surprised. I quite like using the black acrylic paint too to make black backgrounds and yes, Shadow, I do. <laughs> but we're done. Alright, so I think do you reckon we need a little bit of dark blue in there too? I think that might be a little bit too light. Let's add a couple of little dribbles oh yes I'm finished shush of the blue and just add a couple of oh yeah that's better <laughs> that's good just a couple of little spots of darker blue as well matching with the background a bit more It'll do. Just don't want it smooth. <laughs> oh. Dribbles. Yep. <laughs> I've done well. <laughs> um, with my leftover paint, I'm going to do a Jane Davenport and just sort of put it on one of my journal pages here. Just scoop it up. And add it to my journal page the one that we just did before I'm just gonna pop it on there this is actually this particular paper I'm using here uh, is actually Jane Davenport uh, journal one of her canvas journals let me just move this for a sec so this is actually one of her canvas journals uh, it didn't have the picture and we painted it when I first got it um, so this is it uh, and it's on like a thick it's made of like a thick watercolor paper it's a really nice paper you can use pretty much anything on here it, the thing that didn't I just covered over it anyway the only thing that didn't go really well on it was markers it was a bit eh. kind of wasted it a little bit it just sort of absorbed too much into the paper there we go, I've got some water to do something on later. Get off. And I didn't waste any paint. Likey, likey. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, oh, she's looking so pretty. I can't wait to do this because this little um, seahorse is going to have the same colours as this, so it's going to really look... And maybe we might add a tiny little bit of orange uh, through this as well, which will really bring uh, two complementary colours together because we've got pink and green um, and blue and orange is a complementary. Oh, look at my messy hands. And uh, so, yeah, we might put a couple of flecks of orange through that as well. But overall, I think we're finished. Next week will be our little sea corn and we'll be done. Thank you, guys. And... Um, don't forget to drop in on Monday because we're going to be doing a book giveaway for Leslie Smitheringale. Smither How do you say it? Let me put it up. Let me put it up so I don't forget it. Leslie. Leslie. There we go. Here she is. This one. <laughs> Smitheringale. Um, I'm going to be doing a book giveaway for that. And also uh, there will be a free page for 24 hours So of this leopard queen i don't know what i'm going to do with her yet probably markers though because it's a little bit quicker and i can get most of it done in one session so 
we'll probably do that then. So make sure you drop in for that. And next week, don't forget, we will be finishing this one off. All right. Oh, thanks, Alexandra. And thanks for popping in. Good night, everybody. Thank you so very much for coming. And um, I look forward to seeing you all on Monday. I'm so very, very happy with this one. It's looking beautiful. Big thank you if you do come across Laura. Big thank you to her for this beautiful page as well. And also the hawk one, which will probably get done in the last, or some of it done in the last week. Maybe I'll do a bit of a marker one, but I will see you next time. Bye, all.